Ladies and gents, how are you doing? We know the world has gone mad the last four or five years due to the awful authoritarian behaviour from the lunatics currently running the United States of America and the UK as it happens because of the same toxic ideology that is aggressively hindering human progress. So this video comes about as a result of a deep dive I've recently done into one of the world's biggest businessmen and someone who has been pushing humanity forward for the last two decades. Because let me tell you, it quite astounded me the lengths that the state will go to in this day and age to drive back innovation and excellence. So I'm going to be discussing ED, which you'll be pleased to know is not the ED that results when the bootneck and his missus have a romantic night out, retire to the bedroom, and then unfortunately due to three bottles of wine with dinner is forced to thumb in some rope <laughs> in order to complete proceedings. No, I'm not talking about that ED. I'm talking about Elon derangement. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. This video was motivated by a tweet by an FCC commissioner. From Brendan Carr, 2023 FCC claims that Starlink is not capable of providing high-speed internet to thousands of people as the reason for revoking an $885 million award to the company. 2024 FCC, Starlink provides so much high-speed internet, the word monopoly should be tossed out there. Yes, it really makes no sense. Now, if you don't know, because you're watching from abroad, the FCC is the Federal Communications Commission. It was set up to regulate communications, so it is working somewhat inside of its role. However, after Joe Biden stood on the steps of the White House and said, we really need to start looking at Elon Musk. And then after Kamala Harris went on television and said, he has, he has lost his privileges and it should be taken down. And There you go, straight from the horse's mouth. He has lost his privileges and X should be taken down. And it's not just the White House and the current United States administration. Essentially, all of the people afflicted with Trump derangement syndrome are now suffering from a galloping case of ED. Because this is right across the board. The man was a Democrat for his entire life. Like me, funny old thing. Someone who respected liberal principles, freedom of speech, freedom to make jokes. Someone who looked up to the likes of George Carlin, who always stood for freedom of speech and expression. Those same people are now lambasting anyone who dares disagree with them. And as you might expect, it's the trust the science crowd who are spewing inane gobbledygook endlessly and publishing things like this. This is IGN, ostensibly a gaming company. According to an international team of astronomers, Starlink satellites are impeding radio telescopes used to study distant objects like galaxies from the earliest stages of the universe. And there's the thumbnail. Scientists say Elon Starlink is blocking the view of the universe. Nobody else's satellites. <laughs> no, nobody else's, just Elon's. Makes loads of sense, doesn't it? And Fox Business ran a piece about how partisan politics is exactly why the FCC revoked the $900 million award for Starlink to provide rural internet to people, directly impacting the lives of ordinary Americans. And the same woman, the Obama-appointed Rosenworcel, who as the award was revoked, said that they didn't believe Starlink could provide the service, even though they already are, recently said this, our economy doesn't benefit from monopolies. We've got to invite many more space actors in, many more companies that can develop constellations and innovations in space. And now they're wasting billions of taxpayers' money to try and provide a service that rural Americans need, and they're failing miserably, obviously. Even though everybody knows, in 99% of the continental United States, you can get on Starling Internet tomorrow. You stick the dish up, you're on. It's already there. And they're now throwing billions of dollars at competitors, spending money that don't need to be spent, chasing a pipe dream. It's aggressively political, and it's the type of thing that you expect from Stalin or Chairman Mao during the great leap forward that killed 70 million people. Because funny old thing, human beings don't achieve their best when they're having the throats stomped on by authoritarian scumbags who are playing political games. He is the best one of all that I managed to find. 
They've even got the Birds and Wildlife Commission involved. <laughs> this was a letter published on Reddit from the United States Department of the Interior, Fish and Wildlife Service, who said that the deluge and detonation suppression system at the SpaceX vertical launch area was singeing some crabs. So they had to stop them from launching. And the FAA is now delaying the launches of SpaceX Starship platform for, once again, nakedly political reasons. And it's not just the FAA and the FCC and the Fisheries Commission that are purposely slowing down innovation and human progress. The White House isn't even doing the basics of trying to promote America and American interests on the international stage. CNN Science covered the world's first commercial spacewalk a historic event on the Polaris Dawn mission when Jared Isaacman and Sarah Gills were exposed to the vacuum of space and provided us all with a truly stunning view of our nice blue planet. And not a single word was said about it by the President of the United States of America. He couldn't bring himself to go in front of a camera and say what an achievement by the tens of thousands of ordinary working stiffs who work for that company, myself included, and say, well done, lads, you did a good job there. It's disgraceful behaviour, and it is nakedly political in the run-up to the election in November. So what do we take away from all this? What's the point I'm trying to make? And, and what has it got to do with you watching in Stoke-on-Trent? Well, I'll sum up for you now. It's got everything to you watching in Stoke-on-Trent, because the entire Western world is currently in the grip of a toxic, poisonous ideology, often referred to as walk, but let's be honest, that simple word is inadequate to sum up exactly what's gone on. That ideology is essentially a form of authoritarianism. It, it's like a gigantic shit cult that demands uniformity from all of its adherents all of the time. J.K. Rowling is an excellent example of it in the United Kingdom, where she always donated to the left-wing parties. She was always a liberal. She gave money to the liberals. She promoted and campaigned for the liberals. And she agrees with them on gun control and abortion and euthanasia and women's rights and LGBT and gay marriage. And then once, once she stands against them because she was a victim of domestic abuse and says, I don't think big hairy ass blokes should be sharing prison cells with women. And she's excommunicated. She's the enemy. She's evil. She's getting death threats every day. This is the way a cult behaves. And that is what has its talons around the necks of all of the upper echelons of the organizations that run the state. That's why in the United States, we've got a partisan FBI and CIA and FCC and FAA and bloody fisheries commission. And it's the same all across the Western world now. The courts are crooked, the judges are crooked, and the home office in the UK is about as bent as Elton John's chopper. This is a real problem. Uh, it's not just about spaceman guy bad. It's about freedom. It's about allowing people to disagree, even if you hate the Orange Oracle. If you absolutely hate Trump and you want to vote for Jill Stein or Kamala or an independent and you like Bernie Sanders, that's fine. Because th this is America. You're supposed to be allowed to vote for whoever you like. But only one side of the coin is saying, no, no, if you vote for someone we don't like and you have opinions that, don't, that we don't like, you're a bad person. Yeah, you're a bad person. You're evil. And we will use every mechanism of the state to go after you and ruin your business and ruin human progress and ruin innovation and stomp on the necks of the 100,000 working stiffs who are just trying to feed the kids. So to sum up, this is a global issue. It's not just one rich guy in the United States. If you're a normal person, even if you're a lefty, and you have any regard for freedom and human decency, you should be rooting for the rude, somewhat cranky orange bloke with bad hair. Because the alternative, Kamala Sutra, is basically acting like Demolition Man was a how-to manual. It was a documentary of what 2040 will look like if these lunatics take over the most important nation in the free world. So stand against it everywhere. But if you're in America, uh, even if you're a registered Democrat, you're a dyed-in-the-wool Democrat, if you care about working stiffs feeding the kids, hold your nose and put a tick in the box for the day glow president. Because that's what I'm doing. And when I first moved out here, my favourite candidate was Bernie Sanders. As far as I'm concerned, Elon should be walking around with a MAGA hat on at this point. Because the alternative is far, far, far worse than I think anybody possibly imagines. 
But that's just my opinion. If you think using the Fisheries and Wildlife Commission to stop rocket launches sounds perfectly reasonable, and the only satellites in space that get in the way are the ones owned by the guy you don't like, please let me know in the comments. Because I've always been a giver. I like helping those less fortunate than myself, so I love interacting with the mentally handicapped. All right, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, one last thing. I'm doing a live stream tomorrow and my old pal Blue Van Man's turning up for it. So that'll be funny. Tune in tomorrow, that's Saturday the uh, 21st at 7pm UK, 11am Pacific time. All right, see you all very soon. Toodle pip. Cheers. Mm -hmm.